I'm Liz Houck from Cooking by Moonlight, and I'm here today to show you how to make chocolate truffle cupcakes. And we're going to do that using a chocolate cake mix. I just bought a standard chocolate cake mix from the grocery store. It's a 15 ounce cake, cake mix, and that's going to be our base. We're going to modify it so we're not following the instructions on the back. We're instead going to add our own ingredients to make it have that really rich chocolate truffle taste. So I'm going to start by pouring my cake mix into my mixer. And this is a super simple recipe. We're just going to pour the rest of the ingredients in there and let it mix together. So to that cake mix, I'm going to add a half cup of melted butter. I just melted it real quick in the microwave. A half cup of milk. And a half cup of melted chocolate chips. Again, I just melted these really quick in the microwave. The melted chocolate is going to give it a much richer chocolatey flavor and have a really dense texture, a lot like a chocolate truffle. All right, once everything's in there, you're just going to turn the mixer on at a medium speed and just mix it until everything is all incorporated. It will be a very sticky batter, but you don't want to have a lot of lumps or anything. You just want to stir it until there aren't any big lumps of cake batter. All right, now that the cake batter is all mixed up, I'm going to take a greased muffin tin and put the cupcakes in it. This recipe will make about 12 cupcakes. All right, and I'm going to use an ice cream scoop to fill these up because I think it gives you a much more even uh, distribution of your batter and all your cupcakes are about the same size. My ice cream scoop is a quarter cup ice cream scoop and that leaves me with about 12 cupcakes. We're going to bake it at 350 degrees for about 19 to 21 minutes. While your cupcakes are baking, it's time to mix together your ganache icing. A chocolate ganache icing is just cream and melted chocolate. It comes together at room temperature and forms a really delicious, rich, chocolatey icing. A lot like you'd have on a truffle. So this is what's really going to make these rich chocolate cupcakes have that truffle feel. So in order to make that, I have two-thirds of a cup of heavy cream, which I've heated up until almost boiling. And I'm going to pour that into a large dish. And to that hot cream, I'm going to add 12 ounces of chocolate chips. You could also use baking chocolate if you wanted. I used a dark chocolate here because the cupcakes are going to be sweet, so I didn't want the icing to be too sweet. And you're just going to whisk this together until you have a nice, smooth texture and all your chocolate chips have melted. The cream should be enough heat to melt the chips. You shouldn't have to put this over a double boiler or over direct heat. But if you are having trouble getting all your chips to melt, you can always toss this in the microwave again for about 10 seconds. When you're making a chocolate ganache, you want to try to use a good quality chocolate if you can find one. The better the chocolate, the more rich the taste is going to have and the easier it's going to melt. After all your chocolate chips have melted and you have a nice glossy texture, you're just going to leave that sit to get to room temperature. You want it to firm up and be um, firm to the touch so you wouldn't get a gooey mess on your finger. I'm going to transfer it into a smaller bowl and actually put it in the refrigerator for a little while. After you've made this, you can keep it in the refrigerator for up to two or three days. So this is definitely something that you can do ahead of time. After your cupcakes have come out of the oven and cooled completely, it's really important that you allow them to be completely cool to the touch. If they're warm, they're just going to melt your icing, especially with this really rich chocolate ganache icing that's going to melt quite quickly. So you want them to be very cool. I have my cupcakes here and I have my chocolate ganache that I allowed to get to room temperature. See how it's not sticky to the touch and it doesn't get any chocolate on my finger? That's how I know it's ready to go. So I'm going to take this and put it into my mixer fitted with a uh, whisk attachment. And we're just going to whip this up and it'll turn into a chocolate ganache whipped icing. You could also spread this right on top of the cupcakes if you wanted. I think it's a little easier to whip it and pipe it on. So I'm going to turn this mixer on and just get it mixed until it's fluffy, maybe 30 seconds. All right, and that's ready. You see how it gets kind of that light, airy texture? It's because we've whipped it the same way we would whip whipped cream to add some air into it. One thing that I do want you to know is important here is now that it's whipped, we're going to pipe, I'm going to use a piping bag to pipe it on. You want to work in small batches here. Because this is chocolate, it's going to start melting as soon as your hands touch it. So you don't want to fill your whole bag up or you'll just end up with a few frosted cupcakes and a lot of melted chocolate. So I'm just going to put enough for two or three cupcakes in the bag and do this in batches. And I think that's just about enough for my first two or three cupcakes. Again, you don't want to have this on your resting on your hands ve for very long since your hands will definitely melt the chocolate. So I'm going to go over to my cupcakes here and just start to frost. These cupcakes get little dense in them because they're kind of souffle-like. That just gives you an extra space to put a nice dollop of icing.
I'm just going to pipe a little more of that icing on there. You can use as much icing as you like. Some people like a lot of icing on their cake and some people like just a little bit of icing. So it's really up to you. The ingredients that I gave you the recipe for should make enough icing for about all 12 of the cupcakes with a pretty moderate amount of icing. If you want more, I'd probably double that recipe. Here are your chocolate truffle cupcakes. They're ready to go. Since this icing is so easy to melt, I'd probably store them in the refrigerator until about an hour before you serve them. I'm Liz Houck from Cooking by Moonlight, and this has been How to Make Chocolate Truffle Cupcakes.